welcome Susan Stewart. So just in case anyone is sitting in the audience right now thinking to themselves, so what's with the Ellen DeGeneres knockoff as our final speaker of the day? Just in case anyone was thinking that or perhaps whispering it to the person beside them, I see you. Just in case there's any confusion about my identity, I think I'll start things off by reintroducing myself. My name is Susan Stewart. I live in Toronto, but I come in peace. <laughs> Namaste. I write and speak about seeing the lighter side of life, and I'm very passionate about this topic, because given all of the adversity that we face and how often things don't go according to plan, and the many challenging people that we have to deal with, it can be very easy to take things too seriously and get all up in our head and get stressed out. Yeah, I just think in light of all of life's challenges and complexities, it is so important for us to see the humor in things as much as possible and have a positive outlook. Because let's admit it, life is no fairy tale. If you lose your shoe at midnight, that just means you're drunk. I mean, I'm a comedian, so I love the truth. Oh, I'm always seeking out what's true. What's true for all of us? What's true about this human experience? What's true about life? And what's true about life is that it can sometimes just be really tough. Yeah, I mean, life can break your heart. It can turn your world upside down. I mean, I don't know about you, but I've thought about running away way more as an adult than I did as a kid. I do think it would be cool to be a kid again, though, so, yeah. I could take really long naps and everyone would be just so proud of me. Right, like a toddler wakes up from a nap and there's some kind of like hero, like a superstar, like a saint, and everybody goes crazy, right? They're like, ah, ah, look who's up from a nap, yeah, who's a good girl, who's a big girl? Right? Like a middle-aged woman tells people she's had a nap and everyone's like, ah, oh, isn't that nice for you? Isn't it lovely that you have so much extra time on your hands? Right? Everyone's all Judge Judy. Yeah, be nice to be a kid again. But actually, you know, be, being an adult, being an adult is pretty easy, right? When you think about it, it is pretty easy actually. You just feel tired all the time. And then you tell people how tired you are. And then people tell you how tired they are. Pretty simple, actually. Are you tired? Hey, guys, are you tired? Yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired. Sure, we're tired. I think a lot of us are tired because of stress. Right? I think stress is one of the main reasons we deal with a lot of fatigue. And I think, I think stress makes us tired for like two different reasons. The first reason is what I call the brain drain. Because it takes a lot of energy to sustain all that negative ranting and raving, all that negative chatter that can go on in our heads. You know what I mean when I say the negative chatter? Like, you have got to be kidding me. This is ridiculous. When will I ever get it together? Things never work out the way I want them to. I just know I'm gonna blow it. That was a huge disaster. I can't believe I just said that. I can't believe I just did that. I have absolutely no idea what I am doing and people are soon gonna start figuring it out. Oh, she's totally out to get me. God, I can't stand my hair. Right? Oh. That takes a lot of energy. But I also think, uh, I think stress uh, makes us tired because it can often rob us of our sleep. It can cause insomnia. Like when you're stressed out, do you ever look like this late at night and in bed? <laughs> right? 
right? Because you're, you're, think, you're thinking about something that happened that day, right? You're replaying that thing over and over and over again, right? You're like, what did she mean when she said she liked my outfit? <laughs> or you're lying there and you're worrying about something that might happen tomorrow. Or you're lying there and you're obsessively going through your to-do list. Do you ever just go through it again and again and again? Okay, and I gotta do that. And God forbid there be that moment when you remember you have to do something really important the next day and it's not on the list. It is not recorded anywhere. Have you ever had that harrowing moment? And you grab your phone and you call yourself at work. Hi, it's me. You say hi. hi. Hi, it's me. Who the hell else is it? It's your voice. I guess you don't want to start barking orders at yourself. You get that from enough people during the day. Okay, listen up. Listen up. If we don't do this today, we're screwed. Okay, bye. Have a nice day. Bye. And it's always high and bye. When... Now, I know, I know some of you are sitting there right now thinking, whoa, boy, this, uh, this girl's got to update her material. Pretty dated. Right? I, I'm sure a lot of you are sitting here right now, you know, thinking to yourself or whispering to yourself, oh, I'm not calling myself at work. I'm not calling myself at work. I'm emailing myself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are emailing ourselves, which I guess is fine unless we start replying. Like, oh, hi, Susan. Thanks so much for the reminder. Kind regards. Susan, send. Oh crap, I forgot to copy myself. <laughs>